Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. In today's video, we're getting ready for some Nucleus runs. I got 25 more of these bad things I need to do for some Skyblock XP, and I also need those Jasper Crystals. So if you guys are new here, don't forget to go and leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are. We're also going to be crafting something kind of cool later on. But before we jump right into it, if you find yourself checking out store.hypixel.net, don't forget to use my career code, code Zach, for an extra 5% off your purchase. That's Z-A-C-H. I greatly appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get right into the action. I am back in the crystal hollows grinding out robot parts because i really want to finish off uh these nucleus runs i need to do for x for skyblock xp i'll get a whole skyblock level if i do 25 more nucleus runs and anyone who's ever done a nucleus run on iron man or even our regular profile you know probably the most tedious part is these robot parts especially on iron man because we don't have another alternative i gotta sit here and grind these out myself but something that is kind of cool uh, as i have killed quite a few robots in my time whether it be for different drill upgrades or working towards nucleus runs for full devon armor or even doing the runs for jasper crystals i have killed quite a few automatons in my day and uh yeah i actually just hit a bestiary milestone tier 9 which is ten thousand automaton kills so I've killed 4,365 of the level 100s, 5,651 of the level 200s, or 150s, sorry. And crazy to think that there's over 6,000 people who have more kills than me on these things because I just feel like I've killed so many. I don't know. I, I definitely don't enjoy the process of getting ready or doing nucleus runs. I'm going to be completely honest because after this, I get rewarded with the fact that I need to go and get a matching set of jade tools per nucleus run that I want to do. So that's always a nice reward after... Uh, Trying to get all these robot parts. So yeah, doing my best. I want to try and get 25 of each piece. And actually, I'm curious. Let's go ahead and do a quick uh, inventory count on how much we're sitting at. Uh, FTX 370s, we're almost completely done. Then we have the super light motors. We have more than 25 of those. More than 25 control switches. More than 25 electron transmitters. 14 Robotron Reflectors. That's the one that we need a lot more of. 11 more, and then I have 72 synthetic cards. So I wouldn't mind getting some more of those because I still do need the perfectly cut fuel tank. Uh, this is something I've just put off forever. And um, yeah, my goal was kind of just to get the gemstone mixtures from doing nucleus runs and hopefully upgrade it that way. I also need 30 control switches for this. 10 gemstone mixtures. How many do I have? Uh, two. Yeah, so maybe if we get like... I don't know. I don't really want to ever grind sludge again. So as we do more nucleus runs on this profile, hopefully we just get enough gemstone mixtures to do that. Because with my Abbey phone contact, I don't really care to have the craziest fuel tank. It would be nice to have it maxed out, but it's not like the biggest thing now since I can just call up uh, Jotraline and fill up my drill basically from anywhere in the world. So not the biggest concern, but uh, yeah, going to basically just keep killing some robots. We need 25 of each part, and uh, and then we'll be chilling. Also, something I kind of wanted to talk about, I've been getting back into doing my Crystal Hollows dailies, basically, for uh, Gemstone Powder XP, because, or Gemstone Powder in general, sorry, so that I can actually get Skyblock XP for reaching Max Powder one day. Uh, I've done the math. Uh, if I do my daily commissions on 2 times Powder every single day, it comes out to like roughly 1.7 million gemstone powder a month, which is like, that's a lot. That is a lot of powder a month. Uh, it really is. Like it, if you had zero power, uh, zero powder, I mean, it would be hard to be uh, like hard the mountain seven with zero powder. But basically it's like going from zero powder to max powder in 10 months if you don't miss a single day. And you do them every single day, which is really good in my opinion. So I want to make sure I stay on top of that. So I have been. The only thing that I've been considering though, okay, now hear me out on this, is the legendary Skatha pet. I currently have an epic. I've had an epic Skatha pet for a long time because I didn't think the, like, what is it, 175 million coins to upgrade to ledge was worth it for 20% extra powder. However, 20% extra powder sounds really good when you need 20 million. You know what I mean? Like 10 months is still a long, long time of doing it every single day. Like if I did every single day for 10 months, we do like 10 times 30, that's 300 days straight basically of doing my daily commissions, which is a ton. It is a lot. 20% uh, less than that is really nice. Uh, I mean, that's like 60 days I could save worth of doing my daily commissions, which is really good. And also eventually I do want a ledge Skatha anyways for the, the pet score, um, like the Skyblock XP from that. So I've been de debating, do I upgrade my Skatha pet to legendary? Let me know in the comments down below if you think it's worth it. Uh, you get 20% more gemstone powder at level 100. 
Uh, the only problem is it's 175 million coins to upgrade it. Actually, you know what? I, I was about to leave this lobby anyways. So let me let's just actually confirm that. If I go and take out my Skatha pet, go and take this bad boy out. What are we looking at? 175 mil and four stacks of enchant hardstone. That is a lot of moolah. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. So yeah, I don't know. I've, I've been slightly considering it. Uh, I think it's like better to do it sooner rather than later, if that makes sense, right? Like if I need it for like the extra powder, I may as well start taking advantage of that now rather than upgrade later on just for skyblock XP. At least I can get like the benefits of it, right? Because I still need a ton of powder. Like I only have like if I had to guess 6.5 million, yeah, a little under 6.5 mil uh, gemstone powder right now. So I have a long way to go, like 14 million powder. So saving 20% on that or like getting 20% more is a lot. It actually adds up. Also, if you ever find yourself grinding something that involves magic find, be a little bit smarter than me and actually like tune your stuff for magic find. Please do me a favor. Um, I don't know why I do the things I do. I always forget like the little small upgrades i guess you can make to different stats and like now that i even think about it, my beacon as well is probably something i should change but i don't know i need four more of these rebel charm reflectors and the other reason why i thought about this is because i've needed four more for like the last 30 minutes no joke it's been like half an hour since my last rebel charm reflector so uh yeah i thought i would try and increase the magic find by as much as possible but now the big thing is next time i go do dungeons i need to make sure i change that back to crit chance for my terminator so we'll see <laughs> place your bets now if you think i'll remember or not because uh let me tell you right now i don't think i will i just do not think i will i always forget like the little stat upgrades to do so i need to like write them down on my forehead or something i swear we are so close to being done i literally only need one more robo charm reflector and then i can finally walk away oh my goodness the super light motor don't tease me like that please Give my Robotron Reflector, I can be on my merry way. I swear I just saw a robot over here. I did. Beautiful. And, uh, yeah. Once we're done this, then... Honestly, we might go do some stuff on the island. I have a couple things in mind that I really want to do. So, we'll take a look into those. But, yeah, I really want to finish off the robot parts kind of in one sitting here. Because, I mean, we've come so far. We literally only need one more Robotron Reflector. Like, surely we can drop one uh, in a timely manner. And this isn't another half an hour without one type of situation. I don't know why, I swear everyone on every profile always has like one robot part that they just get less of. And for me, that's Robotron Reflectors. Let me know in the comments down below which robot part is yours and the one that you seem to be getting the least of. Because surely everyone has a least, right? It's not just me. So yeah, I'm curious what everyone else's is. I feel like a lot of people's is Robotron Reflector, but I could be wrong. So let me know. Okay, I deserve that. I I fully jinxed it. I really did. That took forever. I finally just got one though. So that should be 25 Robotron. Oh my, I got like two then in like the last few. I swear I checked like five ago. Oh my goodness, look at this. Someone's building a little hard sack sign. I appreciate that. I might stick around to see how this thing turns out. But in terms of our robot parts, we are now sitting at 33 FTX 3070s. I actually didn't get many of those either, now that I think about it. That's a little concerning. 56 Super Light Mores, 71 Control Switches, 47 Electron Transmitters, 26 Robotron Reflectors, and 82 Synthetic Hearts. That is plenty, and it's exactly how many we need to go ahead and do 25 Nucleus Runs. And the reason why, uh, if I haven't clarified in this video, I need Jasper Crystals for Perfect Jaspers for my dungeon setup. And not to mention, if we go into skill-related tasks, mining, I need to do 50 Nucleus runs in total to get two Skyblock levels worth of XP. And I've done half of those, if you guys don't remember, probably a couple weeks ago now, we did uh, 25 Nucleus runs. Also, shout out to this guy for building the hard Zack sign. I do appreciate it. I'm assuming it was it was, it was someone here. Who was it? I, I don't know. Was it you? Was this you? I wasn't paying attention. Was it you? Either way, I, I do appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot. But yeah, maybe it was this guy. I don't know. Shout out to one of these three guys. Someone someone built this thing, and I appreciate it. But yeah, we need Jasper Crystals for Perfect Jaspers, so I need to mine some Jasper before I even do the runs. Not to mention, we still need to get Jade Tools and uh, all that fun stuff. So yeah, have a bunch of stuff ahead of me. But happy to have the robot parts done, and uh, appreciate these fellas. I'm assuming it was him. Thank you. So the other thing I really wanted to do today, after spending a quite a few hours grinding uh, robot parts, which, you know, is always my favorite, is I wanted to craft a Slayer item that I've kind of had the materials for for a long time, and I wanted to do it in a clip, didn't know when, but I feel like I really want the XP for it now by putting it in a museum. And the thing I'm talking about is the Reaper Mask. For those of you who don't know, it is uh, one of the highest tier crafts from Zombie Slayer, I guess you could say. 
Um, now the problem is, I do also still need to craft Reaper armor at some point, which is honestly probably more worth it, but I really want to get the Reaper mask done. Uh, I'll just have to get a little bit more enchanted string for the rest of the Reaper armor, but I need two stacks of Revenant Viscera, a Revived Heart, which I already have, the Beheaded Horror, and then half a stack of enchanted string. So to do this, I need over 4,000 enchanted string, as well as 16,000 Revenant Flesh, which I've kind of been sitting on for a while now, so I thought now would be the time... So just go ahead and craft it. Um, the one problem with crafting something like this is I'm pretty sure I can't put this into a personal compactor and just hope that I can ban my inventory until I have all of it crafted. And just to make sure I'm sh sure and don't waste a ton of time, uh, let's actually find out. Revenant Viscera, can I go ahead and put this thing in? Let's take out the enchant pack dice. I cannot. Great. So I'm going to be sitting here for a second. I need to craft up two stacks of this stuff. So... It's going to take a minute, and uh, I'll be back when we're done, because I don't, I don't want to bore you guys with this. This is not going to be fun to do. Honestly, didn't take me as long as I thought it would. Still a little bit tedious, but there we go. Two stacks of Revenant Viscera, which is always nice to look at. Let me go ahead and put the rest away, and put my sacks back before the order of these gets all messed up. And right away, I really did it wrong. But there we go. Two stacks of Revenant Viscera. That is the probably the most complicated part. Beheaded Horrors definitely are not. Go ahead and grab that. I also then actually need to grab out a little bit more enchanted string. And then we're going to go over to the museum because I actually put a revived heart in here way back. Uh, basically because you need to for um, XP. Yeah, I have a revived heart sitting in here. We're just going to go ahead and borrow that. It still counts as uh, me having that contributed, which is always nice. But what we can go ahead and do then is take our Revenant Viscera, if I'm not mistaken, is something along the lines of this. Our revived heart just like that. Our half a stack of enchanted string and our beheaded horror reaper mask jeez see the fact that this thing's only worth 21 mil is actually criminal the amount of enchant string that you have to get for this type of thing and not to mention the run flesh for revived heart alone these things are tedious on iron man as well but here we have it a reaper mask uh this thing's actually kind of cool and it might become useful to us later on down the line that's why i'm okay crafting it while wearing doubles your mending and vitality uh, while wearing and then allows you to store and summon an additional two souls in your necromancer weapon upgrade zombie armor effect to trigger on all hits so pretty cool stuff um honestly as well as like it's pretty tanky it's used as like a tank helmet i believe in some places so yeah not too shabby let's go ahead and craft it though boom there we go reaper mask and right away honestly this thing is going to the museum for the time being there it is that's beautiful and we should get some beautiful skyblock xp for that what is sad is my next donation, I get absolutely nothing. So that's a little bit tragic, but it does need to be done eventually. So nine Skyblock XP, you love to see it. Um, I'm actually curious what our completion is on Museum. We go ahead and look, Core Task, Museum, 76.4%. That's actually not bad at all. There's still a lot of things we have to donate, and um, some of them are a lot more tedious than others, I'm going to be honest. For example, in the Rarities tab alone, basically all Tier 3 farming tools that I don't own. So that'll be tons of fun. In terms of weapons on this last page, I mean, I'm just not ganging them Rager. It's just not going to happen. Not to mention a Claymore, Tier 3 Blaze Daggers, to name a few of the more complicated things. And then an Armor, I have a lot of tedious grinds in here as well. Uh, Magma Lore, then you finish off. Diamond Trophy Hunter. Uh, Berserk and Shimmering are just beyond tedious material grinds. Same as uh, Perfect Tier 12. That's not going to be fun. There's just a lot of... Really annoying stuff. Frozen blaze armor and blaze armor. My goodness. Emerald armor. A reaper armor, which I probably shouldn't have made the reaper mask for this reason alone. But I needed to do either anyways. And eventually I need to spend 75 mil on an elegant tuxedo to put in here as well. So yeah, fun stuff. Fun stuff all around. But we are getting there on the museum. Always love seeing Skyblock XP go up because we are getting really close to Skyblock level 300. And that leads me into what I'll be doing during Mary Aatrox for anyone who was wondering if you're excited for that. I know I am. He goes into office in five hours. And basically, I want to try and get Sven level 9. We'll talk about this more in another video, but uh, yeah, 150 Skyblock XP, insane. If we have time, I wouldn't mind trying to get Blaze level 6. That's another Skyblock level, also insane. And then uh, maybe we even circle around to some Eman Slayer, get 200k XP for another level and a half, which is also great, as well as getting another mix in and a 15% chance to find RNG en enchants in super pairs. All just really good. So I, I kind of want all three of those things. How many of them we get done this Aatrox? Now that's a story for another time, but you guys will have to wait and see. But yeah, 
So pretty exciting stuff. So unfortunately, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, though, don't forget to go and leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. I can't wait for Mayor Aatrox. Going to be sweating that out. Should be a lot of fun. Been looking forward to Slayers ever since they made it so you can use mage damage on Sven's. That just is super exciting to me. So we should see some fat level ups from it as well. But yeah, don't forget to use code Zach when checking out in the Hypixel store. Join my Discord. Link in the description. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.